So we need to have a real purification okay. of the society. All right, Honorable Maura, I saw you shaking your head while we had uh, Honorable Bichage speaking. You were in defiance of what you were saying? Uh, absolutely, together with Honorable Milio Diambo, just to say that uh, the, <clears throat> the idea that uh, ODM is a inclusive um, um, party only, the only inclusive party is a lie, it's a big lie, because it is predicated on the 41 against one in 2007, you saw that. People like Moora were mere tokens uh, to look good as a national. And when I discovered that way back in 2014. But I, you were in the party for yes, a number of years. Yes, How is it that you are a token and you are there yes, for a number of years? Mere tokens. You know, when you come closer is when you realize. Then we had so many the tokens. Real, no, it's my time. Moora is a token, it, it, Shebesh no, was a token. Yes, those are very many tokens and so you have many, many of them. Let us because, look at the Jubilee because tokens. You are the one with the tokens. Time. Can I have my time? You are because, token, because no, we, we not, Mili will not make this a shouting match. Let me talk. You had your time. I didn't intervene. The issue is, but you must be factual, even in man. Jubilee, we have the uh, uh, um, Luos who are there. Joy Gwendo is there. If you look at Nairobi, Sonko is not a Kikuyu. Sakaja is not a Elected. Kikuyu. These are people who have a national face. If you look at even when done, we have an Omondi who is elected as an MCA Jubilee candidate. Elected. And even nominated. Joy Gwendo is a law who is nominated wow. in the Senate, and many others. So the idea where you want to show that, oh, in fact, when you look at the cabinet, Mike, you'll realize that the cabinet has a face of Kenya. Look at the PSS. So the idea where you want to advance that you are the one who includes other community is not true. And that is where you find that Jubilee is gaining traction in areas where heretofore did not vote for Jubilee in 2013. And even coming to, to Dr. Bichage, you know, this idea of talking about the struggle and whatever, we have all been the trenches. People who are now in Jubilee, those who are in other political parties. And when you realize that, you know, those uh, aspirations that you followed are just a facade, they are just a smoke screen to hide the real ambitions of certain individuals, then you feel cheated, you feel betrayed. And then you, you have to move forward, you have to be real in what happens in this country. But going forward, I think it rests upon the people, and Dr. Sharamo, uh, you've said it, and I want to say NCAC has done a good job. We have done sports for peace, uh, even in the constituency I was running for in Ruiru. So I, I, NCAC has been trained to do a good job. NCAC doesn't have a prosecutor of powers, but it has taken actions, in my opinion, to actually bring, uh, bring to book uh, various uh, you know, individuals who have been accused of incitement. But, uh, we have to uh, put the highest honors of responsibility on, on the leaders, because you know, somebody may just post something on Facebook. It's just a minion who is trying to look relevant. It's very different from a Maura who holds a public position. But it's even more different if you are a party leader. You must not make statements. And, and, and this is where I, I want to say. You must not make statements which, for sure, you are inciting. You are speaking in coded language within a certain context. But then you know you may not be nailed by the law. 